Hello and welcome to another exciting edition of Face to Face on City TV. My name is Umaru Sanda Amado. Today we'll be talking law. At least I'll pretend to know a bit of it because mm -hmm. my guest is someone who understands the law so well and we're having a conversation on that. When we come back, I'll tell you who my guest is. Also, if you're looking for a hardcore lawyer, my guest mm -hmm. is one of that. He's been president of the Ghana Bar Association at the regional level. That's the Greater Accra region. He was involved in the election petition and uh, he gave the final address to the media after the Supreme Court made a pronouncement. Frank Davis is my guest. Hello, sir. You're welcome to Face to Face. Thank you. Thank you. How are you doing? Mm. I'm well. Just a bit tired and worn, but I'm well. Ah, <laughs> how does law make you tired? You're just going to argue and put it to people. How does that make you tired? Oh, that's what you think. That's what we know. It's a tasking exercise. Uh, it engages the mind. You have to read a lot. And so it's not that simple. Did you always want to be a lawyer or someone asked you to go and become a lawyer? Mm, nobody did. In fact, I was asked to become a doctor. By your parents? Yes. My, my dad really wanted me to be a medical doctor. How did you manage to serve him? Yeah, that was, that's, that's, that's the right choice of language. I served him. For I switched from science to arts, and that's it for him, rather dramatically. Uh, nobody even thought, gave me the chance that I could pass the A-levels, because the switch was quite close. But so you were a science student? student. Yeah, I was, I was a For those student. of us who didn't go to your type of school, we, we are still young. So when you say sixth form, so this is like the secondary school kind of thing of where course. we go to do science and general O level and A level. So A level is the sixth form, lower sixth and upper sixth. So you, you were doing science for yes, five years? Yes, I was a science student. And then you just flipped to general arts or arts? Arts. And read what? Economics, religious studies, geography. Which religion? Christian or Islamic? Religious studies. <laughs> <laughs> Traditional religion? <laughs> Religious studies. And geography. So and you didn't geography. read um, literature? No, I did literature in Form 5. Okay. But I didn't read literature in a set form. So you switched because you were afraid of mathematics and science? or you switched Not you necessarily. I, I had a feeling that I could not that I couldn't handle the science, but the challenge of seeing blood was what set me off. I, I was not comfortable any time I came into contact with, with blood. And for a medical doctor, that would be difficult. I knew, I knew that was going to be my cross for the rest of my life. So why, why do something which from the outset engages fear? So I decided that I'll move on and read law. Indeed, I, I used to, because of my my physical structure at the time. I, I had to battle it out to be able to make it in school. I mean, I went to arguably the best school in Ghana. Which one? Um, there's only one school. Oh, that's? That's in France from school. There are uh, colleges and secondary schools. So. It's all right. You can, yeah, you so can flatter So It's exciting no, 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 to flatter it's, 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 I'm not going to engage There's, there's in nothing debate. you can do about it. I mean, it's the best. So uh, I'm not going to debate you. I, I do you had accept to, Rasta students I had in to, your school? We haven't gotten to that topic yet. <laughs> okay, we'll get there. <laughs> yes. we, so I had to, it was challenging. I had to do a lot of argumentation with my friends and all that because I was that small and everybody wanted to pick up me. You were physically mates. tiny. Yeah, I was very, very tiny. So that, of course, excited my interest in advocacy. So that's where we are. Were you your father's first child? No, no. Okay. No, was no. he a medical doctor himself? He wasn't a medical doctor. He was an accountant. But he just wanted to have a doctor in the house? Uh, yes. I, when, when I was growing up, I don't know, you know, humility because of maybe a little scholarship. Of course, I, anytime people were stayed at home, everybody was like, oh, who is a I'm sure a doctor will not be you. Okay. You, were, so, you were prophesying <laughs> into your future. Yeah, so that got into the mind of my dad, and I was I was doing quite well. So he expected that I would turn out to be a medical doctor. Can I confess that you look better with a stethoscope than the bib? Is it bib you call it? Yeah, that's the bib. <laughs> don't uh, tell the chief justice. I, I don't. I don't think so. I think I think I'm comfortable in this one. Okay. The stethoscope makes you look. 
Too serious. Yeah, too gentil. But you look serious. No, I'm not serious. With your glasses and all of that. I'm not serious. Okay, let me move it. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can wear it. In I case, won't. I won't. So that I don't look blurred in I your won't. I won't. <laughs> <laughs> I see. That's interesting. So you switched and so you were determined at that time that you're going to be a lawyer. Yes, I not think so. so. I, I think so. so. And how did you convince him when you went back home? I didn't convince him. It was. Or you didn't even tell him you had. It switched. was. It was actually. Uh, it was something between myself and my mom. Oh. We'll leave. we we'll leave that one. We we'll leave that one to history. I mean, <laughs> let her, let her, let her rest in peace. Uh, <laughs> at least, at least she was glad in that. My choice, after all, was all misplaced. Uh, my father was also very happy before he died because okay. I turned out to to them because turned out to be a good lawyer. So. Explain to us how you manage politics and law, because. Law, you're supposed to be an independent arbiter, right? Politics is a biased organization. Were you doing law for only NPP people? How did you join NPP in the first place? Law is not... A lawyer being a lawyer is not an arbiter. It's only when you are a judge that you become an arbiter. Okay. A lawyer engages on behalf of his client. So, yes, I do a lot of talking both for and against, so I'm the middle. Okay. But I'm not, I'm not an arbiter. Now, law and politics. Law and politics are bedfellows. The two, you, you can't separate law from politics. Indeed, most of the outstanding politicians, both before our generation and in our time, have been lawyers. His Excellency, the President of the Republic, is a trained lawyer. And a good one as that. I I would say I I got influenced by my association with His Excellency the President. I I I I, I did my pupillage and my tutelage under his mastership in Akufo Pempe and Co. So that is where the interest heightened. I mean before that, I, I used to... Well, my father was a politician. NPP? Uh, at that time, it was UP. the PP. So UP, UP to MPP. PP. So. Mm -hmm. And he used to tell me what happens in Paul. Anytime you are home, people come. A lot of meetings, discussions, sometimes heated. After that, they decide to agree, and then there's drinks, whatever. So I cultivated the habit at a very early age. Of course, when I joined Akufu Adopempe Co, that was when the interest really heightened because he he was he was an accomplished politician par excellence. So he he got us some of us to believe in his early principles as to political engagement. So yes, that's where we are. He recruited you young. I was very young. But he never succeeded in recruiting you to become a politician completely. You still remained a lawyer who loved politics and who did politics. How did you maneuver your way? I am. Um, His Excellency the President was always a lawyer and a politician. Uh, he's still a lawyer. He doesn't go to much court. As you, you don't have to go to court before you become a lawyer. Mm. You don't necessarily have to be in court before you become a lawyer. There are lawyers who are in the corporate world, there are lawyers who are with NGOs, there are lawyers who are with CSOs. Going to court makes you an advocate. So you are advocating court on behalf of clients. Some sit in corporate institutions and work as lawyers. They are academics, professors and all that. But because of the training we receive, we are all barristers and solicitors in Ghana. But it's not just a matter of going to court mm. that makes you a lawyer. So. Yeah, so my point is that he is not a practicing lawyer. I he mean, was, he, has, he was, yeah, he's no more he was a now. serious practicing lawyer. Yes. He cannot still be practicing law whilst performing the office of president. I know. I'm saying that at a point he went to parliament. And if oh, you're yes, yes, you yes. You're yes. a lawyer, but you don't go to court. No, you can't. He became you, attorney you, general. You can't, so yeah, you you can't, to you, to you, you can't go to court. Even if you're in parliament, you, you can, can you, you can take a warrant from the speaker. And do that. And do that. There are laws, there are parliamentarians who come to court okay. and argue cases. So yes. my issue is that you have never really gone 
completely to the other side. To, no, no, to, no, to no, do no, no. Do you ever have that plan? No. You never Before, want to but be not a, now. You never want to be a member of parliament? No, no, no. no. Far from it. No. Far Ministerial from position, it. if you're giving deputy AG, would you love it? Mm -hmm. Work with uh, Godfrey Yebo Adami. What's your relationship with him, by the way? My very, very good friend. Okay, you're not related by blood? No, my very good friend. I, would you take I, a job to work as his deputy? No, no. Why? Oh, please. <laughs> It would be well, nice. Oh, no. An advocate for the state, not no, for a client. An, ad an advocate for the state, yes. I, I'm still doing work which involves the state. So even the election petition is a matter involving the state. So yeah. I no, also contributed. I, 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 I also who contributed was. in a quarter. No, it involved the state. An no. election petition involves the state. Depends on how you look at yes, it, but yes. you went to represent a, a client. But it, it involves the state. No, I want you yeah. to represent the republic. You want me to represent the republic? Yes, as a deputy agent. That's what I mean when I say... Find, find a case for me, for the state. No, you but, but, but not as a deputy AG. Why don't you like that position? Okay, oh. you wanted the main board job then? No, no, no. You don't want to be an attorney general? Well, when that position is offered to me, we'll see. Okay, attorney general has been taken. Yeah. It's been when, when that position is offered to me subsequently, we'll you see. You may consider it. We will see. But deputy in this current administration, no. No, I, I, I can't be a deputy attorney general. Why can't you? I'm just curious. I can't be a deputy attorney general. Okay, if I okay, let me not push it. <laughs> Would you want to be on the bench? Sometime in the near future. But yes. not now. Not now. Sometime in the near future. You've been president. I'm, I'm determined to do that. So you, you're planning. You're working. Sometime in the near future. Generally, what happens um, when you are recruited from the bar to the bench? Is there a level you have to start from? Is there an entry level as? Yes, there are. But for, for the number of years I've chugged at the bar, I cannot go to any other court than the Supreme Court. Oh, you, so not high, not, no, not no. appeal? No, no. Per your years of practice, that is your standard, that's your level. Is that what it means? Or this is your preference you're telling far, us? It's far above my level. Oh, okay. From the number of years I've chugged at the bar. How many years? I'm oh. curious. You want to know? Yeah. I'll tell you at the tail end of the interview. <laughs> <laughs> you mean I was called to the bar in October 1987. So do your calculation. 87? Yes. That was the year I was born. That was the year you were born? Yes. Oh, Sander. <laughs> 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 I see. Wow. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank uh, you, sir. 30 Thank years you. ago. Thank you, sir. I think we are... We are <laughs> when you are doing your, your anniversary <laughs> celebration, I should come with my birthday cake so that yes. we have a party. 87. October 87. That was when I was called. Wow. Oh, that's, that's interesting. Yeah. When you became a lawyer, you started normally. But then you entered in the politics of law, as in joining the bar, becoming the president of the bar. Tell us how that happened what was your plan same way same way same way another Danko Akufuado was a very committed member of the bar association and you could never practice from his firm and wouldn't take interest in bar matters because he insisted that we attended all meetings of the bar we paid our dues regularly we attend bar conferences workshops seminars so it was ingrained from the very beginning, and that is where my interest in bar matters developed. He was also once upon a time president of the Greater Accra Bar. So I think with the passage of time, I just stepped into his shoes. I started from financial secretary um, all the way to vice president before I became president. So Why have you ended it there? Why didn't you proceed to the national? Yes, that's... That's a good question. I, I should have been a national president at a point in time. Yes, I should have been. I don't run away from that. You should but have contested, you mean? I should, you should, yes. Have been. I should have been. No, you should have contested. I should have been. I would have... I, I'm you not, can inherit it. You I mean, you know, in, no, in no humility, if, if I had contested, I don't think I would have had competition. Really? Oh, Where's yes. your confidence coming from? Oh, you can ask. You can ask the members of the bar. So why did you not do it? Yes, because I, I had to trade off the position with a senior colleague and a very good friend. Who would that be? Fawson? Mm -hmm. No, no. Fawson came way after. I wouldn't want to mention names, but 
No, I mean, I'm sure it will be apparent for those no, who no. know your trajectory. Of course, those, those, those who know, know. So you can share with oh, us. No, it's no. been some, it's some, pages. Some of the things are better kept uh, than spoken. Yes, I had to sit and trade off because he was a much senior person and he indicated a clear intention to be pestered. I, I thought I had age on my side, so why not? So after his term, and then I became so much involved in national politics, for that matter, the New Patriotic Party. I sat and thought and decided myself that it wouldn't, it wouldn't be right for me to be a high profile politician, and for that matter, a member, a committed member of the MPP, and still take up the position of national president of the bar, because bar matters are invariably national political matters. And I didn't want a situation where people would think that I was swaying too much to the side of my political tradition. So yeah. I, thought, I thought it was wise to just stay off, but still remain a very senior member of the bar. Are you a card bearing member of the MPP? I have been a card bearing member of the MPP since 1992. And you still are? Mm. I still are. So we'll talk about MPP later, but let's still remain with the bar. What is the problem of lawyers in Ghana? And how do you reckon these can be addressed? I, I, I wouldn't know exactly what you would term as problems, but... So if you ask me what the problem of journalists is, I would tell you that um, there are quacks in our profession who act as journalists. I would tell you that there are remuneration issues, there are media houses that don't pay, and there is lack of unionization amongst journalists. The GG has been wanting to do that, it never happened. So those are things that I would term are problems. What would be your problems? Okay. Well, thankfully, thankfully for the bar, we, we've had a very rigorous association and we try as much as possible to abide our constitution rules and regulations so we we are guided because you get confronted with disciplinary issues if you go against the ethics of the profession so yes we have maintained a certain standard which regulates our conduct but of course in every association you have bad nuts. There are people who have attempted to carry themselves out as lawyers when they are not. And they have been exposed sometime along the line. Now, what I would say remarkably as problems is maybe to do with the remuneration which goes to junior lawyers who start the practice. If you are in a corporate world, you are short of a basic salary at least at the end of the month. But where you are in private practice, you do not know when or where your next salary or money is going to come from because you are dependent on clients. So law firms don't put people on monthly salaries? We do. We, are, we, we don't. I, I, think, I think it's unfair for any lawyer to say that he's paying a colleague lawyer salary. Because no one lawyer can ever pay any other lawyer in private practice salary. You can talk about salary when you are in gainful employment institution, but we, we work as lawyers and have a certain arrangement. Depending on the effort you put in the case, what you get, there's something known, I believe you know what is called quantum merit. Okay. So you, you get what you deserve. So but there are basic allowances that you give out to your colleague lawyers who work with you maybe every month. But that is not salary. So if I came from law school and I was working for Davis and Davis, I shouldn't expect that at the end of March or at the end of April, I should go to the accountant and collect you would. a paycheck. Immediately you start pupillage. Even we have remuneration for pupillage. Okay? The lawyer who comes here is a young lawyer. He goes to court with you always. At least his transport, basic transport, lunch, and money to get by has been mm. provided. And it's regulated. Mm. We have 
a committee responsible for pupillage. Mm -hmm. And they have set a minimum amount of money that you will have to pay okay. to every lawyer who okay. does pupillage okay. in your office. So if you have a structured and well-organized firm, these matters come as a matter of course. So The Ghana Bar Association is one of the active pressure groups on the government over the decades. But the argument has been made and the allegation has been made that the GBA is always biased in favor of the MPP and that when there's an MPP government, you're quiet. When there's an NDC government, you're very vociferous. What no, do you say to that? No, but that cannot be the truth. That cannot be the truth. The bar has criticized when it has to. The bar has taken bold positions against the MPP when it has to. So I, I cannot understand why people say that the MPP, the bar regime is overly biased towards the MPP. Yes, a greater number of lawyers subscribe to the ideals of the NPP. But that does not mean that when the NPP does something wrong, the bar does not rise to the occasion. I'll come when, back and ask when, you some of the times you rose to the occasion. Please give me a second. Let me go on this quick break and come back. <laughs> this is Face to Face on City TV. My guest is Frank Davis. He's a former president of the Bar Association in the Greater Accra region, a uh, member of the um, respondents, that's Nana Kufado's legal team, in the just ended election petition. Stay with us. We'll be back. This is Fact Finder from the BBC. We live in a world where news travels fast. And sometimes it's hard to differentiate fact from fiction. Fact Finder brings fact checking from the newsroom up close so you can separate truth from chaff. Be empowered to tell what's fake from what's real. Watch Fact Finder by the BBC on City TV every Wednesday at 6 p.m. City TV, it's your world. You welcome back to Face to Face on City TV. My name is Omaru Sandam and my guest is Frank Davis. Um, I don't know whether I should call him the president's lawyer because he represented him mm -hmm. uh, in the election petition. Mm -hmm. We're before going on the break discussing the GBA and national politics and whether or not the GBA is biased against the NDC as the government as some persons would like to hold allegations. He has accepted to me that indeed there are many lawyers who subscribe to the MPP's um, ideology than they would subscribe to the NDC. But you said too that you have been taking on MPP governments. When Martin Amidu left this government, I'm sure he's a senior member of the bar, we didn't hear you guys say anything. See, Martin Amidu did, I, I, I have a difficulty trying to engage on Martin Amidu. I, I have loads of respect for that man. I mean, take it or leave it. I mean, he's a consummate lawyer. And he has done what every lawyer ought to do in the chosen profession, so far as our training is, is concerned. But the circumstances which led to his exit or his vaccination, vaccination from government was not a matter that was the baby of the Ghana Bar Association. So I, I didn't know what the general population expected the Ghana Bar Association to do so far as Martin Am Amidu's engagement and his engagement was concerned. The special prosecutor has called the president of the republic the mother serpent of corruption. The Ghana Bar Association is opposed to corruption, I would believe. We would love to hear what you think, that he's relieving the government because he thinks the president is the foremost corrupt individual in the land. That's problematic. Uh, you see, I, I, I wouldn't want to go into the choice of language used by Martin Amidou. But we are all trained lawyers. So on the threshold, when you just throw out words and say that the president is the mother serpent of, 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 corrupt, of, of, of corruption, 
I think that statement was as unfortunate then and now. I, I didn't expect someone of Martin Abidu's caliber to use such language. I mean, I, th I think the language was simply unacceptable because whatever it is that was supposed to be the serpent of corruption has not been established. In fact, when he came out with his epistles, as I call it, he likes writing a lot. He got a comprehensive response from the executive secretary to the president. That was the president's statement to Ghanaians, so far as that matter was concerned. Have we heard anything from Amidu? Have you heard anything from Martin Amidu? No, not publicly. Yes, so, you see, when there are two different sets of facts to every situation, you don't choose what you like. At least, like, a, for, for my training, I engage on both sides and see what the middle ground is. It is different accusing people, and it's another thing substantiating the accusation. But at what point should the GBA get involved in matters of the, the state GBA and government? The GBA gets involved in matters of national interest. The Look, Special Prosecutor's Office is an issue of national interest. But it's an office. As we speak, it's a vacant office. But it's an office. You see, when you investigate matters in your office, in respect of things would have happened, and there's a rebuttal, okay? The engagement is between yourself and the rebutting authority. So I, I see at what point does the Bar Association come in to act as a judge? No. If Martin Amidu felt that, I mean, if he felt that convincing about what he had done, there were so many other options available to him. And, and, and I know what he should be capable of doing. But when you make a statement and somebody makes another statement, the general population should be made to gouge which of the statements will stand the passage mm. of criticism. You are no more the leader of the bar at the regional level, so it may not be fair to ask you to speak on behalf of the bar, but as an individual who once headed the bar, what do you think of this government's anti-corruption fight? If I can just borrow from another, in quotes, another, in quotes, presently another controversial public officer or public servant who has just exited office, Domolovu. He was in the forefront of the chase against corruption. I'm not sure whether you listened to the remarks he passed when he did his Thanksgiving service. Even in the teeth of what is supposed to have happened, he singled out His Excellency the President for high commendation that it is only in this government, it is only in this MPP government that the Audit Service Board has been resourced to the extent that they have been. No, no government ever no government. So if there's a fight against corruption, I think that this government should stand tall. You see, when people level all manner of accusations against public servants, I'm, I'm a public servant myself. Having been a chairman of a board, a governing board of the DVLA, I, 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 I was a public servant. Of course, my term as chairman is Coterminus. With the, presidency. with the presidency. So now I'm no longer a board chairman. But I was a public servant. You see, and when you do work in the public sector and people just throw all kinds of accusations without substantiation, it's very, very painful because it's a service to yourself and to the state and to your God. So when people talk about corruptible tendencies, but every single matter involving corruptible tendencies in the term of the MPP government has been investigated one way or the other. If you don't like the results of the investigation, that's another matter. You can take it in another forum. But if things happen, you level accusations, investigations are undertaken, and it turns out to be otherwise, you don't cry wolf when there's none. You, you, you don't then 
take it up as a case that people are are, are, are being winch hunted or then people are are being are, be, are being despised because he speak about corrupt people tendencies in government no i think i think we 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 should be fair to the issues sometimes one instance there's domlovo issue still i hear people saying all kinds of things that he's been he's been chucked out of government because he was exposing the government and the government felt uncomfortable what has domlovo exposed the crawl matter which engaged public attention, that matter went to court. Osafo Mavu was in court with him. And the court ruled. So if you are dissatisfied with what happened in court, yes, you, you can engage. But until that ruling or that decision is set aside, that is the ruling of the court. He is supposed to have reached his, reached his, uh, his retirement age by virtue of the fact that he himself, by processes available public record he has given two different sets of dates as his date of birth one is first june 2020 and the other one is first june 20 uh, 21 20 21 if you are going yeah. through that retirement period yes. date yes, yes that's 20, what it is 2020 you will mm. retire and mm. the other one is 2021 mm. now based upon the information available to government he chose one against the other. The government has chosen one. The one that First makes him leave the government 2020. earlier. Fine. You, 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 you can choose to say that. But that is the information available to government. And that is what government has chosen. Based upon what material the audit service board provided to government. Now, if we are at the crossroads, what I will expect, the people who are going around talking and doing that, to take the matter to court. The matter can be handed in court. Okay. It is not up to government to sit in judgment and say that I am choosing, I have chosen uh, 2020. So come and justify why it should not be 2021. That is why we have the law courts. Okay. You have mentioned that you were once board chair of the DVLA. Um, that has ended now. Do you plan to chair another board? Have you been made any offer? I can only wait when the president appoints. So you haven't been made any offer? I can only wait when the president appoints me. Have you been made an offer? I can only wait, Sander, when the president appoints me. Which position do you hope to head or occupy in this new government? Mm -hmm. That position will be manifest when, when it's announced and you hear it. You'll you be have, the first to hear. So you have not been told yet? You'll be the first to hear. Are you hoping for one, though? I'm sure you know. I don't. Where I want to go. Where do you want to or go? Or where I will go. Please, where do you want to go? I'll be you excited tell me. to know. I, you have, tell me. I have no idea. Yeah, you from, get to know. You from get DVLA, to know. where could you possibly you go You get to, to know when the appointment is made. <laughs> 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 I, I, I don't appoint myself. Mamaru. Yeah, but I want to know what your, your aspiration is. Oh, aspirations. Do, do I have any aspirations? Yeah. There's an appointing authority. So, whatever I aspire, will really manifest when I'm appointed. So... How much, I'm, 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 I'm waiting. How much did Nana Kufado, the president, pay you for your legal services in the election petition? Oh, Omar Sanda, you want to ask this question? Yes. Or oh, you think it's fair? Yes, very fair, because oh, John Muhammad said his lawyers didn't charge him one oh, city. I, I mean, want to know whether you I, are, I, since I, you are, I, I you are both a I party member I don't, I, I don't and think, a lover of Akufado. I don't think I want to travel the path of John Dramani Muhammad. Whatever arrangement he had with his lawyers, with his lawyers, wasn't one. For public consumption. So you collected money. The relationship between lawyer and client is privileged. But so at this stage, it's privileged. But Mr. David, how can you collect money from your godfather, your mentor, your guy? Have I your... told you that I have taken money? <laughs> <laughs> so you have not taken money. Have I told you that I have taken money? So you have not taken. I'm money. telling you that the relationship between client and lawyer is privileged. <laughs> yeah, but your mama has uh, made that public. It's only fair that. Well, that is that is between him and his lawyers. I worked for a client. The case is over. I have discharged my responsibilities towards my clients. How were you settled on? How were you decided? Did you apply to be his lawyer or he called you and said, I want you to handle this case for me? Uh, I didn't apply. In fact, you, 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 you should know that I'm the chairman of the Legal and Constitutional Committee yeah, so it's natural. of the party. So naturally, I superintend all legal affairs appertaining the party. So but why didn't you lead in the court? Uh, I, I, I honestly don't think that it's, it's something which is so special 
Is it not? No, I mean, for, for me, us, I mean, for, for us ordinary people, no, no, the one who is leading. Yeah, no, no, for you see, what we did was teamwork. Well, in the same way, Chachikata led, but Chachikata was in court with only Letha. There were other lawyers in that team who didn't get announced publicly in the courtroom, but there were other lawyers who were also working behind the scenes. There's one, there's only one lawyer who can speak at any particular point in time before a judge. So that's why he's lead counsel. But the work is done by a collective. As Akutron Powell is a very experienced lawyer. So are I you? Mean, so, of course. And I am not at all disadvantaged. I, I, I am not at all worried that Akutron Powell led the charge. And I was part of lead council. We could see that before of us always on the phone line. Mm -hmm. Yes, he, he's, he's an experienced lawyer in the same way that I am. But he's, but not, he's not a politician like you are. You have you know the politics. Oh, then maybe you don't know Akuto. Oh, I've been told he's not MPP unless he has... Well, he doesn't, he doesn't have to be MPP before he becomes a politician. No, I mean he's a politician. But once upon a time, I mean, he has contested the seat of parliament. Yeah, you know that. I mean he's a politician, but not an MPP politician. Oh, That's he's what I mean. not. He's not MPP. Yeah. So you have a lot at stake than he. You should be leading. Again, there was a time I saw him, and I'm going to use his phrase advisedly, shut you down when you offered him advice. He, he didn't, said, I know what I'm doing. He didn't shut me down. What did he do? He, I, I, in any event, I was not the one he, he spoke to. Oh, it was not you? The TV is bled, so yes, I Yes, I was see. not the one he, he, he spoke to. Okay. But he didn't shut anybody down. Okay. The, uh, a colleague lawyer was just trying to remind him of something. Sometimes when we are on our feet, and he said to him, quite frankly, that he knew what okay. he was doing. So that, we, th we thought that that, that meant there was discord or no, disunity no, 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 no. in your No, in your no, 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 no. Mm. That, that cannot be a shut up. Maybe I am, I am, I am, I am, I am submitting, and then... You are interrupting. The lawyer... Th we all have different styles. Maybe the lawyer thought that he should have said something, or he should have quoted this case before going on. So, oh, have you... Have you looked at Via Koto or something? Oh, I know what I'm doing. Who did he shut down? Who he didn't that? shut him down. Okay, who was that person? Who suffered the uh, verbal... Uh, I don't want... Since you don't want me to say shut down, I've, I've lost words. He didn't, he didn't shut him down. But who was that person? Though? Do you want me to tell you? I'll be glad. Was it uh, my friend... Um, uh, uh, Opon, yeah, Opon. Uh, I'm telling you. Okay, then we know who it is because you were just forwarded. I, I won't tell you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> how was it like ditching Philip Addison? Oh, but that 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 that, that, that language. He, no, he, but he led you in oh, 2012. Oh, that, but, but, but that language is too strong. Okay, fine. Why did you don't, not don't, choose don't, Philip don't, Addison? Don't, don't, don't say he was ditched. Fine. Why didn't, as a party and a candidate, Go for Philip Addison this time around. Considering I, how I, people celebrated I, I, his I, I, I won't. I won't answer this question. I, I, I was just one of the lawyers who led the petition. I, I am not the client. So you I didn't think, put the team I, together. I think it's unfair. I am not the client. Okay. So I think it's unfair to ask me why a client has chosen a set of lawyers. No and You want me to comment on? Is the president of the republic? Who was the client? Okay, next question. He decides on his laws. How difficult was it coming against Chachu Chikata? People call him the law. Were you scared inward? So, but uh, you, 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 you shouldn't even... Uh, well, you, I'm getting a bit disappointed with you today. I was scared. I'm just, Sc I'm, just scared about him. I'm why? just telling you what people say. No, no, but why, why, why should we be scared of him? The people call him the law. Oh, who, 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 who said so? Chachu, arguably... He's a very outstanding lawyer. I will not sit in this office and say, Chachu, Chachu taught me. Did he? Oh, yes. He taught me in the law faculty. So has he taught so many other lawyers. And so was he also taught by other lawyers. I have huge respect for Chachu Gata, but I'm not scared of Chachu. <laughs> Why should I be scared? We all read the law. We interpret the law. We understand it both ways. It's not as if we didn't know Chachu. The 20... 13 election petition. Who were with him? He was lawyer for the uh, 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 NDC. I mean, so we knew him. He wasn't somebody who had been brought from the Canaan Islands to come and argue a case here. We have been here with him. So those who taught 
Of course, but we knew how to handle our case. It's not about Chachu. We had the case to prosecute, and we did it to the best of our professional ability. Whether he's a law lord, he's a law wizard, or whatever, at the end of the day, the result showed that what? Nana Kufado what, was what wins a vindicated. Case? What wins a case? Is it the case that wins the case or the lawyer that advocates for the case? You see, uh, being a lawyer is just like being a farmer. You are as good as your tools of trade. But an exceptionally good lawyer can turn around an otherwise bad case. Yes, your case is your grief, but you can turn it around. You, you get me? Yes, I do. The case from the outset can be 60, 40, 70, 30, but depending upon the expertise and the experience and the experience you bring to bear, you can turn it. So, John Mahama's dismissal in court, we shouldn't say Chachu was incompetent. We should say Mahama's case was incompetent. Well, uh, Mahama's case was incompetent and a very good experience where I should see an incompetent case. So I, I, I'm not about to fault <laughs> any lawyer, but <laughs> the case was just incredibly bad. And I, I want to believe that they should have seen through it before coming to court. If they gave you an incompetent case, would you say, Master, with all due respect, this case, it won't fly, so I'm not even going to waste my time in court? I'll tell you. If you were Chachu, you would have told John, I'll, I'll Chad, there's you. no story. I, I'll tell you. I mean, <laughs> being a lawyer is not just for the fun of it. I mean, when a case is brought to you, you take instructions. You let the client go. You read through the instructions. Then you set another appointment for consultation. The client comes. I have read the brief. I think this is that, this is that, this is that. We have a 50-50 chance, 70-30, 60-40, 80-20, 90-10, whatever. If I believe in the strength of the case, I'll willingly do it again, not because I think I'll win, but maybe to espouse the law and the knowledge in that field. But where the case is clearly, clearly incompetent, I think I have a reputation as a lawyer to protect. So I would just run in court and say that I'm going to do it. And you think this particular Jamama case was oh, that it was, one? It was, it, was, it was still from birth. You went with a similar case in 2013. It was still birth too. It wasn't. The engagement in 2013, tomorrow, if you listen to those proceedings, I think, I think you'll be doing yourself a great disservice yourself if you say that that case was not... Was four, not four, five. Yeah. Or five, four. That was how close it was. Five justices against four. That was how close it was. And the kind of material, the kind of work that was done in 2013, I mean, you can't compare it to what happened in 2020. I mean, this was a walk in the path. There are people who said that there was a grand agenda to protect the electoral commission chairperson and all of that thing, the, the non-service of the interrogatories, the non-admission of the you know, cross-examination and all of these things. What do you say to a lay person who listens to a narrative like that by, say, a communications officer of the NDC who said they stole us by not letting us interrogate this person in court? What would you say to such a person who had listened to a communicator say that on radio? I, I, I would not follow those who are illiterate in quotes in the law. But if those who are literate in the law talk that way, then I become worried. When those who are literate in the law talk that way, I become very, very worried. I, 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 I don't want to mention names, you see, but the law is a structure. It's governed by rules and practices. Now, those who are quick to say, that the EC chairperson was not allowed to speak in court. Was protected from speaking. You can choose whatever language you want to choose. You cannot compel. The, the, you see, the jurisprudence is legion that you cannot compel any party to testify in a case. Even, 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 even if someone is committed for murder, capital punishment. Accused person can elect not to speak. It is the duty of the prosecution to prove the guilt beyond all reasonable doubts. Do you want to have something you call hostile witnesses? I'll, I'll get there. You are, you are, you are, you are getting corrupted. 
I hope on a positive side. On a positive side. <laughs> <laughs> you see, in the same vein that people are questioning why the EC chairperson did not mount the witness box to testify. I'm wondering why people are also not questioning why John Dramani Muhammad, the petitioner, he refused to testify. He elected that people should speak on his behalf. But he was the number one accuser. So when people talk that way, that the EC chairperson was protected, why, why are they not worried that John Muhammad did not get into the box? You have brought a case to court. You say you have a watertight case. You have preferred evidence. Three witnesses of yours have spoken. Okay? They have been cross-examined effectively. You say your case is iron cast. Good. The other side says that, look, I have listened to your case. I have cross-examined your witnesses. I do not think that your case is deserving of a response or an answer for me by way of going to the witness box to testify. Let the court decide the case upon the evidence that you yourself you've given in my court examination. What is unfair in this? What is the protection? I'm asking you. You, you have a case. Mm. You have spoken in court. You've called witnesses. I have cause examined your witnesses. And I say, look, let this case be judged on your evidence in my court. Should, should you not be happy? I have decided that I will not talk. I have taken whatever you have said. Let the court decide. Should that be a problem? Uh, in answering that question, I will request that we take a break. But when we come back, I'm going to ask you whether or not her presence in the box should not have other meanings aside the legal meaning in the courtroom. Should it not restore public confidence in the Electoral Commission? And is that not one way of doing that? When we come back... What, what, what meaning, Umaru? When we come back. This is face-to-face -face <laughs> on City TV. Uh, Mr. Frank Davis is my guest. He was one of the lawyers for Nana Duran Kufado in the just ended election petition. We are talking about that and a few other things. Stay with us. City TV is live on DSTV. Go to channel 363. On Go TV, access City TV on channel 182. On a digital TV, please press the menu button on the remote control and run a new search on your TV. Take note that without an antenna, you cannot access City TV on your television. City TV can be accessed on a free to air digital box like the Go TV and Star Times box. City TV, it's your world. Welcome back to Face to Face on City TV. My guest is the former president of the Ghana Bar Association. Um, in building institutions, um, people say that let's test them and see how they would, how they would stand. So, uh, Koju Afarijan was put in the witness box. We all saw what he was made of. We heard the errors of the Electoral Commission in 2012. It led to reforms. In 2020, in the election petition, you do not think that if Jean Mensah sat in that witness box, we would have learned a thing or two. We would have acknowledged a few errors or problems with the Electoral Commission so that we fix them moving forward. Even aside the legal issues, granted that, yeah, she should not be in the court because she has elected, blah, blah, blah. But for building institutions, should that not have happened? Well, let me, let me espouse on this matter once and for all, and let's, let's all get a clear understanding of what happened in court. The constitutional mandate of the electoral commissioner, the chairperson of the electoral commission, as the retaining officer in the presidential elections, that mandate ends with the declaration of the results. Okay? Immediately the results are declared. She has served her constitutional mandate. It is only when you are dissatisfied with the results that you mount an election petition. The election petition is governed by rules and regulations. And for this purpose, it was the CI 99 which governed the election petition. 
Now, the declaration of results in every election, be it parliamentary or presidential, is captured on a data, which is what? The pink sheets, right? All the parties who subscribed to our democratic dispensation and those who contested the election were supposed to have agents. We had 38,622 polling stations and 311 special polling stations strewn all across the country in discharge of the 2020 elections. At least the smaller parties I can, I can excuse. But the dominant political parties, the MPP and the NDC, had agents all over these polling stations. At least two. For some of us, the political, for some of us, we had four, six agents. No, so at least two at each polling yes. station. Mm. They were supposed to record the results which were being churned out on the pink sheets and transmit them to their national office. In fact, that was why they were there. They didn't go there, oh, excuse me, I need to drink tea without biscuits. <laughs> Shades have been <laughs> thrown, I know. They, 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 they went there to work. So you transmit the results from the polling station to your constituency, from constituency to the regional, from the regional to the national. So at the end of the day, you're supposed to have your results independent from what the EC is going to declare, so that if the EC does something on Tawot, you can cross-check with yours. You should have been caught without that. The star witness of the NDC, John Cena, said, Kitia, entered the box. After his evidence in chief, he was cross-examined. He admitted to the fact that they had agents all over the polling stations. They took results. And they have the data. I could try and put him through the cross examination. That forget about the error, the innocuous error, which was supposed to have been made by the chairperson. Let's go to the raw data. Let's go to the raw data, which you don't challenge. In any event, they have signed on to 13 of, 17. of the regional uh, 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 calculation seats. 13. Of 16. Of 16. They fled after the three. You had all the results. The fact that you haven't signed is meaningless. It, 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 doesn't, it doesn't speak to anything. But you had the 16 signed, with 13 signed, and three unsigned. The data was there. I could jump out, took him through the data, one after the other. Forget about it. Let's do the raw data. And when you do the raw data, of all the permutations, who has 50 plus percentage votes more? On all the scores, it was an error. On all the scores, it was not. So, so what was Jim Mensah coming to say? Am I, well, what was Jim Mensah going to enter the box to say? Coming to explain why she sent um, the two men on a wild goose chase. Oh, but, 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 but you know that story wasn't true. Oh, it was fake news? Oh, but you know that story wasn't true. But you know that story was in. The man is not well. He was in hospital. He was lying from hospital. Oh. You know it wasn't true. You I, know that story. You know that story wasn't true. I don't know. In fact, in fact, I don't want. I don't want to use the language the Supreme Court used for those two people. I don't. It's okay. You are free to no, use no, that. No, I, don't. <laughs> I don't want to repeat it. At but, best, but, but you know the language. Is that it was at best? <laughs> you say it. I will say it. <laughs> Is it the, the least said about them? The better. The better. Am I a judge? No. You see? You're hoping so, to be one. Yes, someday, sometime. You see, so this business of people saying, Jim, what, what, what was Jimensa coming to say? Which I see, I see Dun Ketia hadn't said already. What Jimensa was coming to say was what I see Dun Ketia said. So what, 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 what did Jimensa come to say? So they wanted Jimensa to come and sit in the boss so that Chachu Kata would go or winding wine with her. I don't know. They said you were. It, it they, say, they say you didn't want her to be destroyed for scarred oh, for life. Oh, destroyed and that, by and that Chachu's no, 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 destroyed crossing. by whom? When Chachu crosses her, she's oh, going to destroyed be destroyed by whom? Chachu Chikata. They could have done a better uh, 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 destroying with their case. 
If they had anything to destroy, it should have been their case. If they had anything to prove, it should have been their case. But you don't prove your case. You want another person to come and prove your case. You have been to court. You can't prove your case. But you want the judge to come and prove your case. No, you. but discrediting the witness is oh, part of... Oh, discrediting what? There was no need to discredit. She had accepted from day one that there was a mistake. There was an error. She admitted it. In the same way that NDC's petition was written with errors. She accepted it. And she corrected the errors. So what was there again to come and talk about? When I said Dunketia had given us the data, there was something for her to say. We have to end. Thank you. It's great speaking to you. But um, we are told that your lead counsel, Sheshe and uh, Chashuchikata, are friends. They play dummy together. Oh, they're friends. They have a long history. You know, they were all subscribing to this. CPP things. <laughs> Marxist and socialist. <laughs> <laughs> they, were, they, they were all wearing pata pata and, and afromosis. Has 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 the case changed them or they are still fine? Oh, they are fine. I mean, you 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 see, what happens in court, you people take it on face just value. the face value. But we are great friends. Before every session, I walk to, I chat with uh, Tony Lita, my very good friend. I engage with Maretta. I engage with Dominic. I mean, but Chachu is a fairly senior lawyer. I mean, my he was my teacher in school, yeah. so you give him. Yeah. That respect. So when we go, yes. But, but here in Shishi will do their thing. Oh yes. And I mean, has, there's, has, there's, there's no hard feeling. Has John Mahama's failure to concede and call Akufado to congratulate him taken anything from one our democracy to the results of the petition? You see, this, I, I, you see, uh, <laughs> we 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 decide to do things by ourselves. But the better judgment lies with the people. You see, we, we decide to do things by ourselves. But the judgment lies with other people. Okay. We, 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 we were in the similar situation in 2013. Most Ghanaians thought that that decision was not the right one. I, as a lawyer, will not say that. I was dissatisfied, yes, with the verdict. But you accept. But as a lawyer, I have to accept it. And we accepted it. Nanando accepted even five four. He did not call for a review. He accepted it. And the day he left the courtroom, he called your Mahama to congratulate him. I didn't say it. May he so rest in peace. Uh, 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 Kwesi Bequin, Ms. Ata. He said it publicly. And Nanando has called and uh, blah blah blah. He called him and congratulated him. What is different? Seven zero. Seven, Seven zero, zero and, 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 and you are still bitter, calling the Supreme Court all manner of names. But when you won in 2013, the Supreme Court was the best. I mean, come on, you see, these double standards. I mean, these maybe see, that, that's the reason why people say things very ill of politicians because the double standard sometimes becomes too much, maybe. And you wonder whether we are the same crop of people. Maybe what, 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 what has changed? The Supreme Court now is no longer the Supreme Court. Chachu has said it for him. He said, as the court pleases. Thank you for oh, speaking to as, us. As, as the court pleases, let, 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 me, let, let me tell you something. Most lawyers say it. I have great respect for Chachu, like I told you. But as the court pleases, is 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 in elegant legal language. What does that mean? It, you don't say, for whatever the court does, we are always grateful. So it's disrespectful. It is you. very disrespectful. Thank you. That as the court pleases, it's, it's like what? You Let's, are always grateful to the court. Because... When a decision goes against you, there are channels of redress. So if you say, as a court, please, what, 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 what do you want to achieve by that? You are always grateful to the court. In fact, if I give Frank Davis a chance, he may drag Chashikata back for contempt for saying as a court pleases. But as he pleases, we have to end the show. My name is Umaru Sanda. I've had Frank Davis on uh, over the past one hour. He was former GBA president, Greater Accra Region member of the Nanakufado Liga team. Thank you for being with us. Stay with City TV. It's your world. More coming your way.